these, these models, right? You've got text-to-speech, you've got, um, uh, rather, I should say, uh, text-to-image with DALI, you've got coding, you've got language. Your chat GPT has completely changed the conversation about AI. I think those of us who have been on the, the inside of AI definitely have kind of thought about it as like, of course, it's, it's changing the world and we see it every day. But I think ChatGPT made it real for millions of people by showing them what it can do and how powerful it is, and their imaginations are now freed. How can this be really useful towards someone who may have, say, limited mobility? One of my colleagues, Christina, her arms are paralyzed and she types with her toes. And watching her use this product is really cool because she said, oh, I now just have to type one sentence rather than typing lots of sentences to plan a trip, for example. You know, how do we set the right mental model for a technology like this? You know, it's super impressive. It can create, it can cite information. And so we found that people tend to over trust or over rely the kind of information it, it you know, generates. And so a lot of what our team did was like, how do you set the right mental model for users? Reminding them, hey, you know, this is from the internet, just as reliable as the internet. Some things are factual, some things are not.